Mark, what do you expect your role to be this season? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, just going out there, working hard every day. I've uh, been uh, working middle of the infield now, just kind of transition from second to short and uh, just look to play in the middle of the infield this year. So wherever, wherever they need me, I'll be ready to play. Cole didn't mix his words when he said, we're going to Omaha. Is that pretty common statement? And he said it in a very, you know, sure way. Is that pretty common amongst the clubhouse? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, we got a lot of returners this year, a lot of, a lot of experience in the clubhouse, a lot of old guys. And I feel like that's going to be uh, vital for us getting there this year. And I feel like, you know, uh, my third year here now, this is definitely the year that we can do it. And uh, most confidence this year, bar none. When you look up and down the <laughs> offensive side of the ball, do you guys have maybe a little more depth slash not as much small ball this year? Yeah, I, I think so, definitely. I mean, we lost lost a couple key guys last year in Tolman and, uh, and Heineman and stuff, but we also returned in some key guys as well. So, I mean, um, a lot of guys that are just going to be gap to gap and, you know, timely hitting is, is going to be key for us this year. What have you been working on this offseason? Uh, this offseason, just trying to get stronger. You know, I was able to put on put on a few pounds this, this summer, so trying to strengthen my gain up, hope, hopefully uh, hit for a little more power this year than I have been in the past. There's been a lot of talk about Omaha the last couple of years around this program, but what do you think this year's squad has that may be able to kind of put it over the top? Yeah, you know, I mean, like I, like I mentioned earlier, a lot, a lot of old guys and a lot of guys who have, uh, we've kind of been left with that bad taste in our mouth the last couple of years. We're just right on the brinks of getting there, just came up a little short. And, uh, you know, having those three guys, three lefties this weekend, coming back all healthy this year, I mean, it's going to be tough to face for the other team. So coming in this park, especially facing those guys, it's not going to be fun. So I think those guys, you know, are really going to, I guess, carry us where we need to go. How have the freshmen adapted to that mentality and that culture? Uh, we're, we're big in this program on buying in, and I feel like this group, a lot of freshmen, a lot of new faces as well, amongst old guys as well, and I think, feel like each and every one of us have, uh, have bought in, including the freshmen. And I think now they've been here for about six, seven months, they're, they're definitely getting into the, uh, the groove of things and kind of understanding the program and what we're all about here. You impressed by the class? Absolutely, definitely. Yeah, a lot of talent up and down the lineup as far as pitching staff and offensively. You said you wanted to hit for a little more power. Do you, do you plan on sort of taking over as, as sort of the – the power guy, or who do you think is, could sort of step up into? No, no, I definitely don't consider myself a power guy yet. But I mean, I've in the past I've kind of been more just execution-based guy, kind of like setting up situations for the bigger guys to uh, to drive me in and whatnot. So I mean, now I I uh, look into uh, I guess provide a little more I guess power and to the, to the team and that and that yeah more pop should I say? Pitching staff is getting a lot of attention. Uh, is the offense coming in with a bit of a chip on their shoulder? Going, uh, you guys are a team, but you, yeah. are you guys going to try to make a statement? You know, yeah, absolutely. Can... I guess it's good to fly under the radar a little bit. I guess, you know, like I said, everyone's talking about our pitching staff, and they, they should be. I mean, we've got some serious guys on this on this staff. And, I mean, um, yeah, like you said, not too much talk on the offensive standpoint. And, like I said, it's good to uh, fly under the radar a little bit and, I guess, make a statement early on and show that we can do both sides. So what do you, guys, what do you think the offense's biggest strength is? Uh, execution, I think, definitely. We're not we're not so much of a power team yet. I guess we haven't really been in the past, but we're guys that are going to, I guess, timely hitting two out RBIs is going to be crucial for us. You know, moving one guy over and being able to, I guess, like I said, timely hitting is going to be. Do you guys go live often against Cole, Crook, and Petey, and is that going to help come season? Yeah, absolutely. You know, facing that caliber of arms, each and every scrimmage we go out there, yeah, we have been facing them all year long, and I get their, uh, their innings are bumping up now that we're getting closer to the season, getting their arms more in shape. And, yeah, def definitely facing those caliber arms are, will help our transition into uh, February 19th. You talked about watching Crook over uh, over the break, and so you said he was looking good. How's his uh, How's his arm holding up? How's he looking now? He looked. He lo I was able to. Uh, we were on the same team this summer out at, out in the Cape, and he uh, he was still on his rehab process, just going two or three innings here and there every week. But I mean, he dominated over the summer, and he's carried that into end of this fall and winter. So it should be exciting. I'm pumped for him. You say you face Peterson, Crook, and Irvin. They're all lefties. So who do you face on the right side? Uh, pretty much our, our whole staff has been has been. I guess all the righties we've, we've been facing, I guess, an equal amount of time, the starters and relievers, whatever, they're they're trying to battle in for that role. So, How do you feel like playing in the Cape helped you out? I mean, that's some of the best competition that you get in the summer. Yeah, definitely. I guess f facing that caliber of talent, I mean, just even with the position players, too, and that caliber of arms, getting that amount of quality at bats is, will definitely help me uh, my transition. It has already helped me my transition this fall and definitely carrying over in the spring.